It's time, time for road, road trip. Binin, yeah, we, we come. come. Hi fam, you're welcome back to our channel. Today we are going on a long trip from Enugu to Benin City. This is a 4 to 5 hour trip and this is a pretty long trip. And what better way to go on this trip than to take you guys with us. We'll be showing you snippets of the road all the way from Enugu down to um, Oka, Onicha, Asaba, Agbo till we arrive in Benin City. We're currently passing Ninth Mile which is a very popular place in Enugu state that's where we're driving past now and this journey is just about to get started we're going to be having about an hour stop over in Asaba to see a friend who came all the way from Lagos so you know we'll be showing you a bit of Asaba in the video also and you know what we're up to when we branch if it's your first time here you're welcome to Alin TV vlogs do well to click the subscribe button turn on notification bell because I bet you don't want to miss out on any of our videos and if you are returning subscriber as always thank you so much so this video is like a summary of the three if you want a more road focused video probably you want to know what the state of the road is at every point you can check out our second channel Alin TV there we like really got to focus on the roads at different um, location and you know we did the video in part so it was a very lengthy video we did them um, from Enugu to Oka Oka to Onicha like that like that so if that's what you want after seeing this video you can as well go and check that out so for now guys let's hit the road as always you know everybody will always say road trip is fun and uh, our boy has been pretty excited that we're going to be to see <laughs> grandpa and grandma in Benin, Benin. so the journey has not even started we are still in Enugu state in fact we are just in night mile and baba has left off <laughs> so i know she also giving me more support now with no, no 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 i'm with you okay don't worry i will turn the camera we are, back we are, we are in this together no wahala before we get to get to what's it called asaba now i know you you, you will leave me behind whatever the less road trips are fun so yes. let's keep it going guys Benin all the way this trip was really really different for us because this part of the road this that's the enugu onicha expressway this session has just been recently completed so the journey was so smooth at least during the period we were passing through the completed site it was such a smooth trip aside from you know little delays caused by checkpoints like guys the checkpoints here, especially from enugu to anambra states the checkpoints were so so much so there were some little hitches here and there and you know it's worse when they ask you to park once the police just you know slows us down i'll be trying to show them my ring so that they can see this is a family please let us go we are currently in orca already we just passed the namdi aziki way university in orca so this is orca but this is more like you're just getting into orca but the moment you start seeing these flyovers you know you are in orca main town proper there are about three of these flyovers and i feel like this flyovers are so so beautiful i absolutely love the designs and you know i'm always excited when i see them so there are about three of them this is the second one and then there's the third one once you get to this point you just know you are in orca we're going to continue the trip as we hit down to onicha once you start seeing this yellow and black along the road <laughs> because those are just the landmarks i used to know where i am once you start seeing this you know you are in onicha because another thing about onicha is that the roads are so wide and the roads are so smooth you know this trip was really really easy for us because many of all these places that used to have bad spots have now been fixed so it just made everything so smooth we are currently at the nine bridge yay so this is just like the demarcation between the east and the south so okay well i know calabar or uh, but more those also people also refer to it as south but you get my point Sha. once you pass through this bridge you know you are now in the other side so at this point we are saying bye bye to anabra state bye we are now welcoming ourselves to delta state so at this point i like to consider myself halfway 
through the trip yes because i know we've spent about two hours plus so i know we're halfway so on getting to um asaba this is asaba this is one of the major flyovers that was just fixed recently by um, the former governor Okowa. that was i think it was done last year this is the flyover in, I think it's around Koka, yes, around Koka in Asaba. And you know, I told you guys in the beginning of this video that we're having a brief stopover in Asaba to see a friend. So at this junction, we're just trying to put on our Google Maps and try and locate the place we're going to. So at first, we thought the place was in Summit, so that's why you can see us now. We took it, if you know Asaba very well, this is Summit. We tried driving into Summit to locate the place we're going going to because we're told them um, the she came for an event and the event was taking place at Mirabambangida Road. So we just felt like okay there's this popular resort in Asaba Mirabambangida Resort. So we just thought okay it's going to be the same place. But then after driving around for like 10 minutes we realized we're on the wrong road. So we had to reroute and then came to this part so we are now at the or correct Miriam Bambagida road this is actually a very beautiful part of Asaba and it's so funny that we have so many videos on different places you know we're always traveling and documenting it on our main channel Alin TV and then we've not really seen this part of Asaba before so it was really beautiful and then I was like guys I need to come back here again so guys if you've also watched it now and you've not clicked on the subscribe button like i don't even know what you're waiting for click on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that when we upload our vlogs here you will not get to miss it and share your thoughts in the comment section i'd love to know what is the longest road trip you've been on so this is us now at the wedding yes yeah, so this is the event she came for and then we had to come meet her at the venue so this is myself here this is my husband and this is our baby girl yes yeah, she came all the way from lagos and we're like no you can't be in delta and we'll be in benin and then we'll not see so we had to you know just do a brief stop over this is our boy here and you know just is the opportunity to stretch our legs so we're looking for somewhere we could just sit a bit and relax for about 30 minutes before we continue our trip and then we saw that the angels was just beside yes i think the angel shrine so i think this is owned by kubana chief priest right so i was like okay let's just get something here the interior here looked so beautiful and i can just imagine what this place is going to look like at night this is just about three o'clock and you know the place was looking a bit quiet which is expected we just ordered for a bottle of juice and then we had to jump on some instagram trends like uh, on a normal day we are sending ourselves different videos we want to do when we see so this is us trying to do all our videos everything we can do in just 30 minutes you know now as odogo as she is she dashed us money too so this is me holding my 1000 naira <laughs> and so this is more of the place i just wanted to show you guys more of what this place looks like it looks really 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 beautiful i like the fact that um, flowers are planted around and all and then we had to say our uh, goodbyes and continue on our trip because guys you know we are going on a really long trip and we're just halfway so this is us in asaba now we are back to the expressway this is around the region where the airport is located i think and so we're just going to continue our trip down to benin city you know, uh, they, they were all sleeping before. Well, we are all awake. Before we got to Asaba, but you can see that, that they are all awake. But they have a bad lane. So currently we are in Asaba. And like I said, it was just a two hours, barely two hours drive from Inugu to Asaba because the road is extremely good now. And uh, though there were a lot of police traffic on the road, traffic caused by police and military personnel. But nevertheless, we still maintained about two hours to navigate ourselves from uh, Enugu down to Asaba. So let's see how long it's going to take us to get to Benin. I project another two hours, but let's see if it will be less than that. Maximum is two hours for me. So guys, let's go. 
so after driving for about another let me say another hour or so we arrived at this point this is very very close to agbo and this is where you can buy bananas very cheap so in case you are traveling through this route you're looking for where you can just stop by and buy bananas this is a very good place fruits here are very cheap and then there are also mechanics here where you can check your car and guys guess what we are in benin city yes like it so we're going to be dropping so many videos from living in benin and i bet you are not even ready we are going to be residing in upper sakomba this is upper sakomba uh, which is also called the notorious part of benin city this is where we are going to be staying and we are going to be dropping you all of the updates from living in benin city so if you have not click on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell because you don't want to miss out on all the videos we are going to be dropping also share this video give it a thumbs up and let me know have you gone on this trip before have you gone through this route before let me know in the comment section on our second channel we have a full city tour of benin city and uh, we have drone views of the city we have drone views of upper and you know city tour on upper so if you want to check that out if you want to watch that video you can check it out on our second channel alin tv thank you so much guys for watching we'll catch you all in our next video bye